I'm here with Dr. Romano to do some introduction to general chemistry. Hi, I'm Professor Romano. I'm Dr. of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific. I want to go over some questions with you on general chemistry introduction concepts. In my study guide, I mentioned that in order to do well in the DAC, I want you to build a foundation in general chemistry. There's two main ways you can build your foundation. I would recommend first the Raymond Chang textbook. Dr. Chang was a good friend of mine who passed away this year, and he left a legacy behind by writing the best general chemistry book on the planet. The book is extremely easy to read, and I think you'll really enjoy it. If you need more problems, you can always go to the Gen Chem Destroyer, which I wrote, and you can do a lot of questions that would reinforce the concepts from the Chang book. I want to go over a question with you today that's dealing with atoms and molecules and isotopes and writing formula to see if you can understand what we're doing. So come around and let's have a look at what I got for you. If I said to you an isotope of an element has a mass of 119 and 69 neutrons, an ion of this element has 48 electrons in it. Hmm. What is the ion? The first thing I'm going to do is to say that the mass of anything equals the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. With this hint, if you want to stop this tape and try to work these three out, be my guest. I think I recommend you to do that. Okay. The mass is 119, so I'm going to put in 119 we don't know the number of protons. The number of neutrons is 69. And when I subtract 69 from 119, we get the number of protons is 50. If you remember, the number of protons is also called the atomic number. And this identifies the element. So all I do is I press my icon that you'll see on the dash screen, on the computer screen for the dat, and you'll see that 50 is the atomic number of the element tin. Now, so we know it's tin, SN. Now we gotta be careful. It says that this element has 48 electrons. Well, we know that normally the protons equals the electrons. But if it's an ion, as you can see, the protons is not gonna equal the electrons, it's 48. So that means that it lost two. So therefore, this element had to be tin two ion, the tin two ion. So if you go back and check it, this would indeed have an atomic number of 50. And how many electrons? Since it's a plus two, it would be two less. There would be 48 to confirm it. Part B, what is the formula of its phosphate? Well, we know that tin is plus two and phosphate's PO4 minus three. I'm gonna crisscross and I get SN3, and then the phosphate, we put in brackets so you don't make the two numbers hit, and you get SN3PO4 too. Name this phosphate. Well, we see we're gonna have tin, and it's got a plus two charge, so on the ion, this is tin two phosphate. We would need the Roman numeral for this. I hope this helps and gives you a good idea on how to do these type of questions. These are three good types of questions that you're likely to see on the data exam. All right, good day to you. I'll see you in study group.